There is one Zelda game that I feel is predetermined to have a full-on remake happen to it someday. And that Zelda game is one that we a lot of us have been just wanting to have on Switch for a long time. And that game is Twilight Princess. And often when we talk about Twilight Princess coming to Switch or Switch 2, we're talking about Twilight Princess HD or a 4K version of Twilight Princess coming over to Switch 2. But I don't really think that's what's best for Twilight Princess. In fact, I think the game is destined, as it were, shout out to Andres Restart for that term, to have a full on remake and i'm gonna get into why and the reasoning behind it and what they need to do in my opinion to make this remake work out and before i do i will remind you we're on our road to 150,000 subscribers we'd appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel let me know down in the comments below what you think of a full-on twilight princess remake and what changes you would want to see but I could have talked about something else today, right? There's actually a trending story right now about Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. Yeah, not only did we have a little bit of news on that yesterday where uh, the former director and all the stuff kind of came out and was like, yeah, the series is done. Uh, it turns out the Olympic Committee is the one that ended the Mario and Sonic series. And new reports have come out that, hey, they're going forward with uh, a different direction for Olympic Games. They want to focus on characters NFTs. Yeah, it sounds horrendous. I just got to be honest. So the reason there's no Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games things anymore is due to the Olympic Committee making, in my opinion, some very bad choices and not understanding gamers at all. You know, NFT games have totally been a popular thing with gamers. Eh, whatever. But I didn't think that story was worth really saying much more because that's all I have to say on it. What a disgusting thing. But what I do have a lot to say on is Twilight Princess. Now, we've been talking about Zelda remakes and remasters for a long time. Ports, you know, the Wind Waker HD, Twilight Princess HD, even rumored. Uh, really, even before the 35th anniversary of Zelda, but the rumors really came ahead with multiple insiders saying they had heard the games are ready to go for Switch. They don't know when they're going to come out. And it's been that way ever since. And it would shock me if there is somewhere in the annals of the depths of Nintendo uh, a, a Switch port, native Switch ports of the Wii U versions of the Wind Waker and Twilight Princess HD. I'm sure they exist. I'm sure they exist in a graveyard of a ton of games Nintendo has done for different systems that don't release for various reasons. Either the timing's not right, or maybe there's certain bugs they never ironed out, or maybe they just didn't think the sales were justified in the end, or they weren't satisfied with how the product turned out, or it didn't look different enough from the Wii U release where they're like, ah, we can't do that. Of course, neither did Mario Kart 8, but then they ended up changing the multiplayer, at least when they brought over the deluxe version. Setting all that aside, we've talked about other games coming out for remakes. In fact, we've talked about Ocarina of Time. That's like the biggest one that we talk about getting a from the ground remake because there's been some hints, some suggestions by AG Aonuma that that game is happening. And you know what? I actually believe it will. Uh, I think Ocarina of Time could use a from the ground remake uh, just to fix up a few things, right? To make the world feel more, more full, to update the visuals, to uh, give us... I don't know, some updated controls. But here's the thing, I don't really think Ocarina of Time needs a lot of content changes and a lot of content additions. It would be nice to get some, but I don't think the fundamental game needs a bunch of changes. Now, Twilight Princess is also one of the best Zelda games ever made. Obviously, it's rated really high. It's the third best-selling Zelda game of all time behind Tears of the Kingdom and Breath of the Wild. And it's widely praised. A lot of people really want this game to come back. But I think a full-on remake has a lot of things it could end up doing for the game. Now, we can't get into a full From the Ground remake without first just talking about one of the primary reasons to remake or remaster anything, and that's all new visuals. I love the art style of Twilight Princess, and I think it worked okay in Twilight Princess HD, but I think Twilight Princess HD showed a lot of um, reasons that the game looks dated. In fact, it kind of looked just like an emulated game running in HD from an, a prior era, which is exactly what it was, essentially. I think Twilight Princess has you know, a, a more realistic art approach, a more Dark Souls style art approach with a little bit of zaniness in some of the designs, but definitely a darker, more serious 
uh, graphical, realistic sort of tone. And it, it's one of the only games in the series to have that. And I want them to keep that tone in a remake. One way, of course, they could do this is if you look all the way back at the Wii U tech demo for Zelda that was clearly a Twilight Princess Link fighting Goma. Uh, very, really, it's just a really cool thing. The, the reason that that thing still looks good today, the reason you look at man for being something that's like a decade old that still looks incredible like you throw that at 1080p 60 fps on my tv and that thing looks amazing let alone at 4k but here's the thing that was back in the day what am i talking about well they were essentially using cgi if this was not a playable thing it was a pre-rendered fight that you could change camera angles on and look for different things and you could change the lighting from day to night all this stuff but you couldn't really interact you weren't controlling the character it wasn't a you know it was, it was a scripted pre-done cgi you know spectacle and yeah it looks great imagine twilight princess done in that style but not just done in that style talking about a style that could be refreshed more than a decade later 15 years later they could really take that to a whole nother level not seen in that tech demo and that could be why they waited so long to potentially do a remake of twilight princesses because that tech demo sort of set the bar but when they release an actual playable game they want it to look better than that tech demo and i think as we get into switch 2 they finally have the technology to do just that but graphics are one thing and that's really cool but what about other stuff that i feel like needs to be improved there's really two fundamental things i want to see improved one of those things is just overall game difficulty uh if you look at twilight princess it, it, it's really well known for it's like what nine dungeons and being a massive dungeon crawler and the story and midna being this amazing side character and they're not gonna ever fix the ganondorf stuff because the ganondorf stuff to me ruins zant but you know what doesn't really matter they're gonna keep that all in but i would love to see them work on the difficulty uh, a lot of enemies in the game just are very very easy and there's not anything that's really tougher like yeah there's dark nuts and i guess they're a little more difficult but when you get to the boss fights the boss fights every single one of them all the way to the end of the game feels like a joke there's like no difficulty to these boss fights you have your dungeon item and you just quickly go through it i don't I, i've never died to a single boss one time i died to bosses in ocarina of time i died to bosses in majora's mask i've died even in tears of the kingdom granted it was only in the ganondorf fight but at least i did die that just never happened to me in twilight princess both when i was younger and today so i really want to see the boss fights stepped up because the boss fights in twilight princess are a spectacle they're the sort of boss fights you expect to see in a dark souls kind of game uh they're massive they're behemoths uh giant you know fire beasts and like it, it, it's such a uniquely fun experience in twilight princess but they're all spectacle and that is the biggest problem is that they are complete spectacles rather than actually presenting any sort of challenge and i'm not asking for them to be dark soul levels of difficult but find a happy medium between make those boss fights feel rewarding for actually beating them rather than just walking into it and just being like another Wakoblin or something that just has a bigger health bar, right? Uh, so that's what I would like to see massively improve. Now, the second thing, and this is beyond, like there's other improvements, right? Like we could talk about controls and upgrading the controls and, and, and other things. We could talk about, I think Andres restart his video on this talks about the animals. We could talk about that stuff. Uh, there's a lot of things we could dive into, but one of the biggest things I want to get into is making the world feel more full. So Tears of the Kingdom does this thing where we're in this wide, open, expansive, open world. And while we'll have large swaths of it where there's no enemies or nothing going on, there's always something tantalizing on your screen, even if it's off in the distance. The game keeps you engaged with exploration just because there's the spectacle of something over the horizon and there's a ton of enemy camps. In Twilight Princess, when you get to Hyrule Field and all the places in between, there's not a lot of that going on. It's kind of empty. Like, yeah, you have the spectacle of there's Hyrule Castle or there's that town or land you're going to, and that looks 
kind of cool, but there's just not a lot to do once you get there. There's also not a lot to do in between. So I want to see like the side quest massively expand in Twilight Princess. I also want to see just more enemies and even possibly more enemy variety as well uh, throughout the overworld. I just want there to be more. I want enemy encampments. I want um, you know a, a purpose to some of this stuff. Uh, maybe the ability to switch between the planes of existence to fight different enemies in different areas. You know, I, 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 is that too much to ask? I don't really think it's like a crazy amount to ask for that kind of content in the game. I'm not asking for new story. I'm not asking for a ton here. Just extra side quests and then just more fights and more things going on in the world. I, I feel like that would just really make this a more complete experience. Now we can get into other things like, you know, oh, do they connect things better so it's not so corridor based, less linear, a bit more open? Sure, that's all possible in a remake. I don't know that I want Twilight Princess to be like an open world game, but you know, maybe a bit more open because one thing I don't like about the linearity of Twilight Princess, and I'm not saying open in that we can go anywhere that we want, but that it really does feel like, hey, you can't go here because we put a gate in the way and there is a hallway. And it's like, okay. Well, maybe make it we can't get there because we don't have the item from the next dungeon and we need that dungeon item to get to where we need to go. Uh, that to me would make a hell of a lot more sense. But you know, that's again asking for content expansion, which is not really something I'm focused on. I'm focused more on, I mean, besides side quests, you know, just adding more enemies and fights and stuff in the actual overworld. Um, and I would be pretty pretty pleased with that obviously update all the animations and stuff as well make link not so stiff and everything but that's just that's just with the times right like we're talking about what was a gamecube game at the time uh also launched on wii you know we got to be realistic like you know that was a long time ago today we obviously just look at breath of the wild trees the kingdom the animation the animations are so much better more evolved and more things going on so that's all stuff i just expect to happen but you guys let me know uh, I, I do think that is destined to happen for a large reason and a large reason is i just don't think twilight princess has aged very well if you go play twilight princess hd right now it's still a fun game but I, it, it looks dated to me like of all the nintendo games it looks dated like yeah you can say well what about ocarina of time and majora's Mask? yeah sure they can look dated too but They've also technically had like remasters on 3DS that look a little better and they updated the art style a bit. I I, I think Twilight Princess really needs that treatment. Wind Waker, sh straight port that baby. Give me 4K goodness, whether it's the original or the uh, HD version, and I'll be happy with that. That game doesn't really need to be remade, but Twilight Princess. I think it's destined, I think it's going to happen, and I think we'll see it before the end of the Nintendo Switch 2 era. I think we'll get Ocarina of Time, and they'll use that to end up doing Majora's Mask. We'll end up obviously getting a brand new, massive open world Zelda game, and then after that, at some point before the end of the generation, Twilight Princess Remake. That's what I think will happen anyways. I guess time will tell if I'm right. I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in. I am Nathaniel Robojance from Nintendo Prime, and I will catch you in the next video.